What's up everyone, it's your boy Marcus Sky and I'm here bringing you a video on how to level up fast in the division. Mind you, this is only for your agent, not the Dark Zone. So just keep that in mind, this is pre-recorded gameplay. So if I am look, look confused because of something and uh, I'm like a little lost, please excuse that. But for right now, you see I'm circling this section right here. In New York City, there's different sections. <coughs> And every section has encounters, missions, journals, guides, phone recordings, think places where you could, you could get XP from. So I'm gonna show you guys an example of an empty zone, like when we first get it to a section. So for now, every section has a safe house. You what you wanna do? You wanna go to every safe house, and you wanna go to talk to the JTF officer, and then you wanna go update your board. When you update your board. It shows you, it will show you different missions and encounters and activities and things you could do in that section, alright? What you guys want to do, well, let me show you actually a spot that I already did. So right here, this section in the Garment District, I believe. When you update that, you get encounters, you get, uh, what's that right there? Phone recordings. I don't know if the phone recordings pop up, but if, they, if they're on your map, go to those. Those give you XP. You got... I believe contamination zones pop up if I'm not wrong and those give you XP when you go inside it usually enemies loot and stuff that you could get next let me show you could I, I, I did I cleared up all the missions and stuff in a section like this where I have missions that that's already done well they will have encounters actually yeah encounters missions you see 890 XP um, even though side missions have 1000 XP, so you know it's, it varies and stuff. And it, even though it doesn't seem like a lot, they do add up when you do a whole bunch of these, as you see on the map, they're all over the place. So, I'm gonna show you a quick way on how to increase the XP that you have. So, we're gonna, after I get out this menu, I'm gonna go to the security wing and I'm gonna show you an upgrade that actually gives you guys 10% extra XP. So Go to the security ring in your base operations. Go on, go on the laptop, and then the first upgrade that you should have upgraded already is situation room, which increases your XP gain from all activities by 10%. So, what is it? All you, every time you get XP is gonna increase from the original number by 10%. All right, this is one of the first upgrades you get. If you haven't had this upgrade, you need to get it because you're probably slacking. This is that upgrade is the key to success. The key to success. Alright, make sure you do that. Alright, that's definitely must. Alright, that should be one of the first upgrades that you actually get. Alright. And I'm gonna show you guys right here. Uh seventy three thousand XP. So just imagine this mission gives you seventy three thousand XP. Now that just got boosted by ten percent. Ten percent guys. Think about it. So right now I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you some examples of how you can get some fast XP just by doing something that you normally do it doesn't require a lot of skill work okay so well first let me stop by the master field house to show you guys something a proven fact that doing missions on a hard difficulty does not give you guys more XP it gives you the same amount look I'm gonna show you guys right now see this completed on level 4 this is on normal difficulty now let me show you how it looks when you go on hard all right <clears throat> uh let me see oh i don't know i think this did give me they give me xp but let me show you a new one actually because this one i can't use so this right here look at this seventy-three thousand xp right now let's and it's at two thousand credits okay it's on normal difficulty. That's if I do it on normal difficulty. So, let me show you guys. Don't mind the screaming from the game. I don't know how to mute that out. But, look, when you go into the difficulty, the credits is changing by 1,000. The XP stays the same. So, you're going to do a mission on hard difficulty, and you're not getting extra XP. You only get a, a thousand more credits and a, with a new blueprint. You know what I'm saying? To me, that doesn't seem like a good deal in my eyes. If you guys like that, so. And another way you guys could get XP is by fighting enemies. So when you're walking through the streets, it's better just to walk through. Because you can find like little gangs and little groups of people that try to attack you. Fight those people. Because look, you get XP. Look, when you kill these people, you get XP. And 
it may seem like a little but though remember that all adds up that all adds up and then right here is a a guide I believe or a, a journal that gives you 330 XP just for picking it up that's free XP right there um the next one civilians 245 XP make sure you give civilian sorry I got cut off but like I was saying make sure you give the civilians items and stuff because that usually gives you a little boost of XP and clothing may also make sure to activate your echoes your echoes give you 530 330 XP right now when you're in echo make sure you look around the area the marked off area so you can find things to collect because when you collect those things like phone recorders and stuff it gives you more XP you get what I'm saying so this is just boosting your XP up and remember it's all about 10 percent so just look around and stuff. Not every Echo has one, but majority of the ones do when you go on side missions and you find them. Alright. So this is just a quick way on how to get XP and to level up your character and your agent. Not your Dark Zone, okay? There will be a video coming next week on how to level up in the Dark Zone faster, okay? So just make sure you stick to me, subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you later. Boom.